This is Peak Oil News. I'm your host, Mr. Energy Czar. We're covering peak oil, renewable energy, electric cars, and everything in between. All electric vehicles will need to have an audible warning when moving at slow speeds. This new law will be rolled out in the coming years. This will help reduce pedestrian accidents and will help alert the visually impaired when they're crossing the street. Each electric car model will be allowed to have its own unique sound. BMW's all-electric i3 is coming to showrooms this fall. It's estimated to have a 90-mile electric range. You'll have the unique option to purchase a range-extending gas generator to reduce range anxiety. This is the first long-range pure electric car to offer this onboard generator as an option. The engine will be a two-cylinder motorcycle engine. To keep costs down, I think they should have just had a 50-mile all-electric range with the generator on all the i3s. A Middle Eastern oil-producing country is having its McDonald's trucks run on fryer oil. This could be another sign of what a post-peak oil world may look like. The United Arab Emirates has 100% of the fryer oil turned into biofuel to run the fast food chain's delivery trucks. Saudi Arabia may be realizing they are approaching peak oil production. There's a question as to why they have recently cut their oil output. Their oil wells have been pumping at 30-year highs the past year and may need a rest to prevent damage and permanent decline. The Saudis have been maintaining their oil production by pumping in more seawater into their wells than they get out in oil. This can only go on for so long before a terminal decline kicks in. Wind beats out natural gas to become the top source of new electricity capacity in 2012. New wind installations totaled over 10,000 megawatts, while new gas installations totaled over 8,000. However, capacity is different than actual production. Wind is more intermittent than gas power. So you need to have about twice the wind capacity installed to match the gas production by output. We'll see what 2013 brings. That's it for this week's edition of Peak Oil News. Please subscribe to my channel, like and share this video, and go to MrEngesR.com. Thank you.